Hello, Eleni. Hello, Shadi. I would like to discuss a little bit today to follow on what we discussed earlier on bullying and different aspects and so forth, is that a lot of us, we go through situations, we do certain behavior, we do something. And then after a while, we say, why did I do that? So in hindsight, when we look at it, we say, why did I do this? It can be I lied. It can be I snapped. It can be I was defensive. It can be I was offensive. It can be multiple things that happens uh, within us, within the sphere of organizational setting. And then to realize that, well, why did I do this? This was not the right uh, behavior that I should have taken in that particular context. Can you shed the light a little bit on some of the whys behind this? Definitely, yeah, it's a great question. Why do we do what we do? Um, I would say the first thing is our context. The context we live in is a legacy industrial model which industrializes us. So it is like mechanizes us humans to fit a process. And then later it humanizes machines to try to become humans. So it puts us in an environment where, where we really get into a fight or flight mode, meaning we're in a survival mode. Mm -hmm. Because in this legacy industrial model, money becomes survival. Like, do I have a job? And then I need prestige to get a good job and I need a good image. I need to be included. I need to be respected. So we look at all of those as survival. Mm -hmm. And when we're in a survival mode, we're actually using, you know, an older part of our brain that's super fast before any thinking happens. And so whoosh, we react emotionally mm -hmm. and we react in a way to keep us surviving, but we're not in the Serengeti being chased by, by big animals. We're in a context where we actually could choose how to respond. So I think it's like we tap into our habits of survival and then we realize, wow, I had intense emotions that made me do something, but then that thing I did does not reflect what I actually would do if I had a few moments to reflect and decide on my own. So we can summarize it that unfortunately the context we're in and we're growing through and we're living through and we're working through it puts us in a situation where we're most of the time in a fight or flight mode. And that mode itself, meaning we're tapping into our reactivity rather than respond, responsiveness. Yes. And yes. by reactivity, we're looking at everything as if it's a survival. I just yes. need to survive. So there's a tiger coming to eat me. So I need to do whatever I can to protect myself instead of doing the right thing. Yeah. So hopefully when, with human-centric leading, we're able to transform that why and make it a competitive advantage for you on an individual level and a human and a, and a team level moving forward. Absolutely. And we can talk about how in the next video. Yeah. Thank you.